Please hang up and try again. Hey everybody, uh, today we are going mushroom hunting. Uh, it was a little, little cold last night, and uh, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a ton of them around. But let's go explore and see what we can find. Just gonna start looking around. That's all you can do. Oh, look, right here. Holy moly, didn't even have to go far. We find our first patch of brown mushrooms. As you can tell by the black on the outer rim, that it did freeze last night. So, uh, these don't have much longer to live. So I don't think it'll be a problem if I take a quick sample. Which one is, whoa, those ones are really hard. Uh, let me go with this one here. Yep, as you can see, see on the bottom? All the crystals. Yep, those are little specks of dust. Micro, micro dust as we call them. And, uh, beautiful, beautiful mushroom. Beautiful mushroom. I'm gonna put that one in a bag. Now, I took a quick look to the left. And... It looks like another one of those mushrooms, but look at this, hidden. This one's a lower mushroom, it's a, we call it a sub-mushroom, a little bit lower to the ground, but it's still a mushroom. Actually, this one, I think is not up yet. I think it's gonna come up a little ways. So if you take a quick look to the left of those mushrooms, You'll see another one that looks kind of the same species, but then you get to these ones that start looking a little bit different. Um, so, I'm going to take one of these. Is it the same? I'm not sure if it's the same species or not. Looks similar. Could be. Might not be. I'm going to put that one in the bag. going to keep going over here. A lot of mushrooms over here, folks. A lot of mushrooms. Here's another one. That one, I believe, is the same species. But look, at, oh, look at these groupings, great groupings. Oh, here's one's already flipped up. Yep, see? Crystals frost on the top. Um, let me grab this one here. Great, great shape on this mushroom. That one's going in the bag. Now see, if I wasn't paying attention, you could easily step on all these groupings of mushrooms, but luckily I'm paying attention and, um, you know, looking where I'm going because mushrooms can be anywhere, folks. I'm not seeing any over here. Uh, a lot of, a lot of acorns, huh? These are still cool. Not as cool as mushrooms, but still pretty cool. Um... Let's wander down here a bit. Oh, here's another grouping. Similar species. Big, big grouping. I believe it's the same species as before, but we're gonna take one out. Oh, the bottom does look different. A little slightly different color on the underside of the cap. Hmm. We'll have to test that in the lab. So guys, I just found this really cool mushroom. Uh, I just picked it out of the ground. And look at it. There was, there was only one of these growing. I didn't see any around it. But a really cool type of mushroom. Almost looks like one you see at the stores. Or in pictures. Couple holes on the top. But really, really cool mushroom. We gotta, we gotta look in to see what kind this is. Because... Really, really cool. I wish there was more, but there was only one. Hope you guys can see it. Oh, there you go. You can see it better now. Really, really cool mushroom. You gotta take a look at these. Just on the side of the trail. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. Really, really big. It looks like they're growing on top of a pile of pine needles and leaves. Really, really cool mushrooms.
All right, we're gonna start heading towards the woods and uh, just gotta find a good spot to go in and uh, see what kind of mushrooms we can find in the actual woods. Sometimes they can be easier to find, sometimes they can be harder to find. I'm just hoping to find different uh, types of mushrooms. Uh, maybe some mushrooms that grow on logs or trees. Now I'm trying to go in down here. And I like to go off the beaten trail. And I don't like to go the same way twice. It's a little steep hill here. But uh, the other cool thing is, is that mushrooms usually grow in areas where not a lot of people go. And so I like to try to get to areas where they're probably slipping here, but doing okay. I like to go to areas where it probably hasn't been a lot of people. See, see this log right here? I'm gonna check for mushrooms underneath this log. Don't see anything. Oh, but there's some fungi. All right? There's some fungi right here. Growing on the back side of the log. I don't know where the, there it is. I don't know what type of fungi it is, so I'm not going to touch it, but there is some fungi there. But we're looking for mushrooms, so we're going to keep on keeping on. Very, very cold today. I think it's like 30, 30, 30, 32 degrees around there. Um, not ideal conditions looking for mushrooms, but this is kind of the end of the season. Whoa, really, really, whoa. Okay, I just stepped on some really, really mucky territory there. Oh, got a stick caught in my, my britches. It just got really, really mucky. So that's kind of like a river down there, a dry river. So I guess we're not going to be going down any farther there. Um, let's head this way, hopefully it's not, I don't step into any more quicksand. Look at this tree formation, you know, two trees that fell. I mean, if you want to build a fort, it's almost done for you. Alright, we're going to enter the woods again at a different point, and, uh, Hopefully there's some more fungi over here. Even if there's not, it's still been fun exploring with you guys and I uh, appreciate, appreciate you guys coming into the woods with me. Um, because you know, it's fun to, uh, fun to get outside here. You know, the woods is a real magical place. Even though some people, as you can see, throw some trash here. You see, there is a mushroom here. A couple mushrooms here. Big, big mushroom. Under the cap. Now that's a big mushroom. I don't know what type it is, but really, really cool. Um, I think there probably would be more here. But some people threw some trash here, you know, because we're at the edge of the woods and people think it's okay sometimes to throw the trash into the woods because, oh, it's a, it's away from the humans, you know, who cares? Well, you know what? I care, okay? And the mush mushrooms care. And so uh, I think there's a limited amount of mushrooms there because of the fact uh, trash was thrown. But we're going to keep looking. It's not going to get us down because there's a big, big woods you know the woods is huge nature is huge so no matter how uh, many people try to destroy it it will not be destroyed you, you take you know rid of some mushrooms then some more will grow that's how it works all right uh, excuse me folks i have a bit of a cold but just because i have a cold doesn't mean it's gonna stop me from having some fun in the woods, if you know what I mean.
All right, um, trying to find the best way to go. Also, also a way to go where I won't get wet. You see, it's a little uh, wet down there, and uh, I am not in the mood to get wet by mud in 30 degree temperature. Call me crazy. Um, all right, let's keep going. Maybe we're looking in the wrong places. <clears throat> Maybe we should look more on the trees. Right? Catch a cluster of mushrooms growing on trees somewhere, maybe. That's what we want to find. That type of grass. That's a different... What is that? Some kind of algae, right? Growing under... Underneath the tree. Alright, um... I would like to go in deeper, but like I said, it... It rained recently, and I believe it's very... Yeah, see down there again? Very wet, so I'm not gonna be able to go down there today. Sorry, sorry about that, folks. Uh, let's head back up and let's try down a little ways. And I want to find one more grouping of cool mushrooms before I I head back home for the day and take it easy. Cause like I said, I'm not feeling too good, but um, it's the weekend, and on the weekend I always like to go out in nature try to go out in nature at least once a week I would prefer if I was out here seven days a week but <laughs> I don't make the rules I don't make the rules I'm just a another pog in the machine I'm just another step in the stone I'm just another man walking on a log I'm just a man who's walking on a log in the woods and nobody's there and people see him when he comes out and they're like what are you doing in the woods what are you doing that's so good what are you doing in the woods and i tell them i'm just trying to get away from you now we got this little uh little hill here Walking around in a circle, hopefully you don't get dizzy. <laughs> Trying to find if there's any special things growing on this hill. Let's take a quick gander. <laughs> Ow. On top of the hill. Anything up here? Anything growing at the top of the hill? Be a good place to lay some eggs. You know what I mean? Like on top of a hill. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. We're on top of a hill, but uh, nothing. But look at that hill. Haha, <laughs> got you there. That's a real big. They're, oh, wow. They, I almost thought these were mushrooms. Look at this leaf. Wow, that's a big leaf. Look how big that leaf is. It's folded up, too. It's a huge leaf. From a distance, it looks like a big mushroom. Is this leaf? See, doesn't that one look like a mushroom there? Growing on the side. Not big brown leaf. Big leaf. I, I wonder. That's another thing to stu uh, study, huh? Different types of leaves. Leaves. However you say it. But you know, sometimes people see a big hill like this, and they're like, "Danger! Danger! Gotta stay away." I see a big hill like this, and I'm like. Fun, fun, let's go up and hopefully fall and break our necks. So here we go, folks. Let's climb this hill together. A little tough here. Ground's not exactly uh, sturdy. Might have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of an old running start, as I like to say. A little Travis Pastrana going on here. Okay, here we go. Here we go, watch my shadow, folks. Watch my shadow. You can't watch me. You can watch my shadow. All right, that's the first. Whoa, look at my footprints. Look like a bear, like a grizzly bear climbed up there. That's the first uh, tier. That's the toughest tier because, you know, it's a really steep incline. Now we're going to go up a little bit farther. 
as you can tell there's been other climbers up here but nobody nobody's ever made it to the absolute top they always try to get to the top and something bad happens so folks you know help me out here a little bit again so this ground's a little a little more sturdy which means my feet don't sink in as much but also means it's harder to get a good solid grip when you're climbing dirt hills Make sure you give it a kick. They call it the donkey dirt kick. A couple of donkey dirt kicks. Get it, get it, get it, and then go. We're going, folks, we're going. All right, look at that. Look at that, I am a shadow giant. I am a shadow giant, and I am on top of the dirt hill. Ah, so in ya, hey, oh, in ya, hey, see my old lilies and bass, so in ya, hey, yeah, I am free from it all, free from it all. All right, folks, so I'll show you that's where we climbed up from. As you can tell, the first tier is the toughest. Second tier is no easy bit either, okay? But look at the other side's a lot easier, so. Whoa! Oh. Mushrooms. Look at that. I was not, I just almost stepped on them, but I jumped over them. I was not expecting to find mushrooms on top of this dirt hill. But I'm an idiot because you can find mushrooms anywhere. But a lot of them look broken. Broken type of. That's a cap. Weird type of mushroom. Are these mushrooms? Yes, mushrooms, but hardly any stem. Wait, I'm trying to find one that's in the ground. Oh, you know what these are? These must be caps. They're blue over here. So maybe there's mushrooms growing somewhere else over here. And they broke and blew over there? Because those are only caps. Or maybe there's a new species, a mushroom, that's just caps, no stem. One one day the cap was like, you know what? Why do I need a stem? I'm just gonna grow without you, stem. I don't need your help. That's interesting. But look at the uh, the hole right behind those mushrooms. Maybe maybe we have a little rodent that likes to eat mushrooms. I gotta put one of these in the bag. All right, cool. Well, like I said, I don't know what those were, but I put a couple of caps of those into the bag. And hopefully by uh, doing some tests, we can figure out what type of mushrooms those were. Now we're gonna continue on that way. As you can tell, the other side of the hill is a lot more easier, but um, it's not, you know, easy doesn't always mean fun, am I right? Let's take a quick look back, see if there's any mushrooms. You gotta look everywhere, folks. You never know. Like, I would not expect on top of a dirt hill for there to be a cluster of mushroom caps. Now, there there was no stem, and I don't think they were, they were in the ground. So I believe there was just some caps that were bl blown over in the wind. But, um, I don't know. I'm not exactly... 100% sure But we're gonna do some tests Do a couple uh, G G searches see what we can find We're really really wet down there. It's usually not that wet. I would like to go down there more. Look at this old log Surprises the mushroom is growing out of this log here. Oh, what do you know? Cluster of mushrooms right there Not the best looking mushrooms but you see the algae and those mushrooms right there. Kind of cool though. Kind of, kind of cool. All right, folks. So you uh, see that big stump at the end there? You know, the woods is to the left. So it's not in the woods, but it's a big giant tree stump. So there must have been a huge tree there. And uh, tree stumps are great places for uh, mushrooms to go, to grow, sorry. But um, it would have been cool to see this actual tree, you know? It's the first thing I see right here. What is that? That's a 
really, really hard, but it's in the shape of a mushroom. I think that might have been a mushroom that grew last, like last year or some some point, and then froze. So I get a look at the bottom. I'm not sure. Very interesting, though. We'll look at over here again. Looks like an almost right there, huh? Looks to me like combination of bark and mushrooms I could be wrong though but again a really really cool tree stump here not seeing any other mushrooms yet but uh oh wow look at right here folks this is a gold mine right here we found great great place for mushrooms to be growing look at inside the tree stump there you see Little families of mushrooms. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. Younger ones here. Older ones in the back. Like I said, it's really cold, so they're on they're on their last legs. And here's a little young grouping right here. Growing in between. Look at that that really small one right there. See how it grows in between the log? glad we uh, you know it took a while but we found some mushrooms growing on this tree stump really really cool so uh, I think that's gonna do it for me today I'm gonna head back because it's getting too cold and like I said I'm not feeling too good but thank you guys for coming with me on this uh, mushroom hunt journey exploration half in the woods half in a cemetery half in quicksand getting wet but if there's one thing I must leave with you folks, try to get out into nature, try to get out into the woods and have some fun. Find some mushrooms, find some something that looks like rhubarb. Look at this tree. What the hell? Is that rhubarb? I think that's rhubarb. Huh. Rhubarb growing right here, folks. You know, you never know what you're gonna find. And we got to look at that berry bush in the background. There's probably going to be a couple of grizzly bears coming up here that eat the berries. But they're not going to take my rhubarb. Because I love rhubarb, folks. And thank you for watching. Tomorrow's another video, another day. And uh, today, luckily, I didn't get lost in the woods. But, uh, you know, next time I go out, maybe I will, maybe I won't. That's the fun of going out in the woods and exploring. You never know what's going to happen, folks. You never know. Thank you and enjoy the outdoors or play video games where you pretend you're outdoors. Whichever one you do, enjoy it. The sun is so bright. Please hang up and try again.